Wednesday, 1 p.m. City TV. My name is Benita Nkwa. This be Football Made in Ghana. The only show for this entire world inside where we discuss local football issues in Pigeon. Language where everybody they bab. So I beg if you get anything tell me, just take send me for WhatsApp 0550 585832. today it be national team issues with the talk. We go discuss the Black Galaxy, the my qualification to the chan. Last week we discussed as then they go Nigeria. It be like they go do their job come. We go break down how they do their job and what be the way for it to give the Black Galaxies as they qualify for the chan. They go play for Algeria next year. We go discuss the Black Stars too. Otoado drop some squad, 29 players where that they go play two friendlies in September, one against Brazil, the other against Nicaragua. We go discuss the squad. Some players for day inside and uh, some people for not day inside. Who were it for day inside, where no day inside? Then we go plot the way forward towards the World Cup because Ghana, they go play the World Cup for Qatar. All this day, part of the preparations, we they take go face the rest of the world. Now, as the minister talks, we go win World Cup there. We for make world, we for win the friendly games, pick some better team, we go take go win <laughs> that World Cup for Qatar later this year. So, I beg, if you get anything, tell me. Send me WhatsApp, 0550 We go take some short break. If we come back, and the guests make ready, I make ready. I should say we make ready. Then we go start fire the show. This will be Football Made in Ghana on City TV. Welcome back. This will be Football Made in Ghana on City TV. The guests make ready. As they come, they warm up, jog, jog, and things, drink tea, and things all finish. They say now, then they can't fire. So, first up, to the firing range, Daniel Cranting, one of usual guests for the show top. He said today there, he get more things talk, Charlie. <laughs> the other guest will be very regular. Today, he the rep in national team side. He said Ghana all the way. At Chuta Maklo, they the house inside. <laughs> but like, if you know be Ghana all the way, then he be who? I don't know. Probably, you know, I know some people where they support Code Divine and things. Oh, they be Ghanaians where they support I mean, I did tell you. Big time sellouts. And the reason we are in economic crisis. <laughs> it be people like that. <laughs> <laughs> like uncharted territories. Yeah. But you don't know, say that's if they feel happy. Somebody they probably, like they bought them for Ghana, right? Mm. But maybe he goes school for some country or he spend more time. But it be Ghanaian. But it be Ghanaian. So some people they like some other country. They they go stay there. Then they no country. You know be them at fault. You be Ghanaian. We know the support blasters. I shock self. Anyway, you you make make we make we start plus the black galaxies. Back in the day, they call them the local black stars. They say they changed their name. They don't like that name again. Now it be new chapter. They not be local. They say they not be local. Nah. They be black galaxies. Galaxies. Uh -huh. So that be the <laughs> that be the name they give them. Now last week we discussed them as second leg before they will go Nigeria. Then they lead two 0 for the first leg qualifier inside. Now as they go to Nigeria, the match we play. It looks small. If the match go finish, where Nigeria score two. So now they for take penalties. Uh, take sort them about the out for the Moshud Abiola. Somebody say now if we count the stadiums for Ghana, we for add Moshud Abiola because it'd be like we they win for that place. Yeah, so that will happen. The team go win five four on penalty. Penalty so Ghanaian national team they win penalty. You can't kind of the last time that thing some happened. The last time Ghanaian penalty the Ghanaian team they win penalty shooter, they be friendly. We and Costa Rica are they lie. But the last competitive Chile, Chile. one, and we and Chile, sorry. The last competitive one be I know the Kaiser. The last competitive. I be the challenge. Ah, we win one. We, we win Niger. one penalty. We go lose to mm. Libya. So that that be that be the story. We go, we go watch the highlights in a bit there. But guys, welcome. Um, make a star plus Daniel. Daniel, then going into the second leg, we all talk to each other. This team, they for Dega, they for Dega, they for Dega. It be like the Dega. Ah, it is something minutes where the Niger people find two goals. Now they for win the game on penalties. When they win the game on penalties, it don't be say that lad save some kick or something, but the Nigerian people they score one way, we score one our own all. So now when they go back to the channel for the first time in how many years? Eight years? Or um, eight years? Since or 2015. 2015. So that'd be seven years. Yeah. Seven years. Seven um, years. The boys really caught. Every time I see the result, I shock. Oh, I shock. I'm really happy. In fact, the time Nigeria scored the second, that'd be the last, it'd be like the last kick of the game. They scored the second goal and they say, oh God. I did pray say they would change the rules right now and make we go extra time before we go, go penalties because then I did fear. Penalty shooters in Ghana, they actually, we know they so. But we for credit them, um, not even just the penalty shooters. I feel say we are shape during the game. We kept them at bay for a large embers of the game. Yeah. We looked um, quite comfortable. Nigeria were struggling to create like clear cut opportunities. We knew um, exactly what we were about. We, I feel say be mentality switch off. Them, them just it, it looked like then if you say them win oh, the match already, yeah. if you watch the defending for the last goal, it'd be a bit suspect, especially at that uh, particular point of the game. Long throw coming, flick on, then um, 
the Ghana if I forget them who they mark a Nigerian striker. But the fact that he allowed a man make it be in front of him, that was basic kindergarten error. We um, rightly so were punished. But Charlie, we go to the shootout inside. Hey! The team is whether the last save, you know, save, miss, be miss. <laughs> we Niger miss him. We don't know what he said. I don't care if he said, I don't care. We don't know the business. That one no matter. They won't be say they miss him. But the quality of one of sport kicks, you go feel tells you we cover all angles. Because if you watch, it's not just the the way they miss the story you yeah. talk about. See, you see oh, how this, this be very poor. This defend it. They know they take win tournament. This be very poor marking. But thankfully, we get opportunity to go back then correct some of these mistakes. But. And they talk about the penalty shootouts, and I really talk. See, it's, it's not how they dispatch the, the body language, the confidence with which they walked up to the kicks. If you see, they cover all angles. Everybody knows each other. He come out, he know where he puts the ball, he pick in spot, he come, he slot down for the back of the net inside. Where that is something where we know really they see from, from, um, uh, from Ghana if he come penalty shootouts inside. So I was really, really impressed. Even the Niger kick where he whacked the bar safe, he did quality kick, but now I don't care, he missed him. But I mean, simply say the ball, if he walk by, I mean, say you know, play him, not play him, J, because the poor, you know, they move, you know, they move, the poor, they one place. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. so, if you play him, J, I go enter the pool inside. But look, look at the quality of kicks, look at the quality of penalty kicks. Wait, Charlie, if if you be Ghanaian, Ghana national team player, where you go pen play penalties, where you de aim for the top corners inside, they mean say you, re you really yeah. know what you're about. You well, the really, top corner, not be kiddies. It not be kiddies thing. It not be kiddies thing. More times, I say you go walk. Yeah, you go spoil them. You go spoil them right now. Or you go hit them. The power you go see. It's a quality, and that's also another thing about preparation. You know, see, you are not just going there to sit down and protect the lead. You know, see, in a case of any eventuality, you go few go penalty kicks, and you also have to prepare for that. Mm. And clearly, we did, and uh, thankfully, Charlie will qualify because this thing is chair, it's chair. And from the start, we know we believed in this team because you watch the quality, the strength, and depth of this team. You know, say they go figure all the way. But the fact that they've, they've actually gone out and done it against one of the fiercest mm. rivals to be big achievement. Actually, then the talk said the game before apply practical approach, yeah. pragmatic approach. Yeah. But like the boys listen at uh, the last five minutes where they go bed. Exactly, and <laughs> I like because the whole <coughs> point of say you go field more midfielders. We say. You they won't congest the midfield there. Controlling. You they won't get more of your players, make them day that midfield, then control the game. Because you know one make the game slip out of control. So mm -hmm. you now from a position of advantage, it'd be you now for can't chase the game. You don't want mm -hmm. that. So I feel say they do that for. But remember last week, as we do the show, I mentioned one defender in name. Mm -hmm. About instincts. Kunedi Yado. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I always they talk say, listen, I, I, I think I've heard David Duncan say something similar. You know the matter which position you they play. So long as you be defender, you have to be able to defend anything within three yards of you. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter if it be cranting in position, but once it be close enough to me, it be like within three yards it of my your responsibility. So if, so if the ball day within three yards, either side, assume responsibility then claim. Because in that split second, time no day with me than you, they can't talk to Charlie, left the ball, give me. Oh, yeah. Is it true? When an instant for be sharp, and immediately the action they happen, we for fist sniff and say, Charlie, this thing, Yawa go fi by. So, and both of them, he could not be the only center back way, not he be free. So, if mm. you watch the goal again, you go see, say, um, the Karela kid, uh, Augustine Randolph, yeah. he be engaged plus, was it Andiope or one of the Nigerian midfielders? Then the other teammate in front of him, he too, he get another Nigerian player where he they engage him. So, if you're the only player where you go fit, take one or two steps, get mm -hmm. a bit of an elevation through it in jump, yeah, yeah. then head the ball away. But the instinct was wrong. But I like the fact that at least we were able to keep them at bay until that last minute. So say at the very least, even when that momentary lapse in concentration. And it, it, it is what shows you that the technical handlers did an excellent job. Because ultimately, yeah, these mistakes, it will happen. Oh, yeah. Somebody go for score on goals on penalty or the lapse in concentration like we see. But you're coaching for be so good to a point, say, if those things happen, still, you for fit to get good chance or an advantage mm -hmm. to progress. And I feel say then really do the job. And beyond Anna Walker, beyond Prosper, look, more times the GFA than a mess up, but if there has been anything way that my handling has been without question in Kurt's administration, I think it'd be this team. Okay. Because 
the time that we then get the team, the time they get together, the camping, and the consistency with the players we then call up for this game, it'd be the only reason why we feel qualified. Okay. Because more than, I think, say, since, apart from the maiden edition, where that one, because we know, say, if the maiden competition will really yeah. give the team more time and some seriousness. I mean, we attach the national team coach, DFA president, you travel with the team and everything. But this time around, we give the team time, spend a lot of time to get away. After every call-up where the coaches they make, you just see the consistency in the players within the call-up. So mm -hmm. anybody where they follow the team, get clear idea which be the regular guys the coaches go, go follow. Mm -hmm. You see that thing? And it help because for national teams, you don't get time to go teach new principles or ideas okay. or build telepathy. So if you get your call, where you stick to those boys, where you make them a play. And clearly, even the Omar Bashir situation, the way they handle and the show we see, the coach be clear in his man what he they won't do. And apart, even when somebody get injury or some, in his case, malaria, he's prepared to give the player time to recuperate, then come in, then come play. I'd be happy for them. The only concern we say, by the time the tournament will come around, yeah. it'd be very likely at least three or four players, no good day. So, Vanier, for example, in contract, they end in December. If Hearts of Oak, no few renew one way, he move go the Vikings way people they expect they go go or he move abroad, they mean say the least striker for the team, you know, go they make you play. Okay. You see that thing? Dominic in Sobila be mm -hmm. another player way into go feel make the move. So that also be another of those players with them a situation. But generally, if you look through the options where we get, we get enough quality. Yeah. If if Banier even move, Max Abekwe Day, if he's somebody we would expect say he for fee improve on the what eleven goals or so yeah, where he yeah. scored yeah. last season, then be able to lead the attack, give the team. Um, and generally, every season new stars they step up for on yeah, a league inside. Yeah. So would they expect say at least the new boys who go step up will be good enough to replace okay. any of the boys where then go move abroad, which it will prevent them from uh, participating in the chant. But congratulations to the GFA, to the coaches and the players. Mm. Let me talk about the shootout. Because you make some points about the body language the quality and things. So from the shootout, now, now they're putting extra effort, make they prepare because once you enter tournament setting there, it means that this goofy happen at any time from the quarters onwards. Yeah. Um, as for that one, the idea, if we come penalties there, it be, and when you enter a tournament setting, penalties be, it be, it be part of the whole thing. You can't go into a tournament and not prepare. If you don't get some, are fine. If you don't, if you don't get some, are fine. But you need to go prepare. That one, there be something where you did. And, Look, I they talk about the, the, the body language because sometimes, and if you notice, sometimes, in fact, most of the time, if you watch penalty shooter, where somebody they approach the ball, you know, say this guy will spoil him. You, you will see, say mm -hmm. this person will spoil him. But they seem very confident. And even with the way they dispatch him, you can tell that it was practice. If it's something where it's a repeated uh, uh, um, uh, action where they do, they do a man where they know, say, if I pick the ball, they pick this spot and they go here. That's why they talk about the top corner thing. That's why. Somebody will feel have confidence in, in technique at such a critical moment and not say he did go here. It not be the decision he did make just before he did come. Mm. They do answer. So in body already, their mind already be very um, used to that action. So it not be now he they can't think. The pressure no they catch him. It be and that be something about muscle memory. If you do a uh, the pressure no go catch you. Where you go feel tell say it be something where them them actually practice. Where it be it be good uh, starting point mm -hmm. because we know Ghana them penalties. <laughs> We Charlie, we said for here we do documentary on Ghana and penalties. Charlie, you know be it be <laughs> they said the whole world there. The three national teams where they are penalty record no good. England, yeah, Holland, yeah. and Ghana. Ghana. The day I heard that, I said, hey! It be serious, oh. it be serious. England, Holland, and Ghana. It be serious. Yeah. It, you see, you when England and Holland, now they start winning penalty shootouts. Yeah. So, left so we till we start. We till we start. We <laughs> see, you reach a science. point where... <laughs> Exactly. Signs. You reach a point where if they enter penalties, everybody they might they, they have them lost. So this be something we actually we forfeit to build upon. And you can see that once you can tell that they are doing their homework, they've recognized yeah. a problem, yeah. they are doing their homework. You have to credit them and hope that they continue to do so so we can get better. Now they qualify on Saturday. Now Saturday that time, then the GFA boss day uh, the day Jubilee House, then the World Cup trophy come town where it take uh, Tres Gay and FIFA and Coke people go their places. They, they go meet uh, President Kufado. So it'll be that place where uh, Kate here say the boys beat Nigeria with a qualified. So he gets some congratulatory uh, message give them. So uh, make you enjoy the message. If you come back and then we go move the discussion on. To show my personal gratitude to each one of you for the honor done our dear country. 
you went in there to seek qualification. And regardless of how difficult the challenge thrown at you was, you've been able to achieve the end goal. You remember I said the end goal is to qualify. Is that not it? Let's clap for ourselves, please. I'm sure you may not know the value of what you have done. But when we remember that two, three, perhaps, attempts some few years ago, we couldn't make it. And you guys have made it this time. Each one of you should be proud of your achievement and the achievement of this team. All right, so that'll be the JFA boss, Keto Kweku. Then he meets the team uh, the time they arrive. So that'll be when? Sunday? Saturday. That'll be Saturday night. They arrived that same night uh, on the tarmac. Okay, so that'll be, that be Saturday. Let me say, Ket, the Saturday, go to the airport two times. Because <laughs> I see him for another morning. <laughs> I see him for another morning. Charlie, the job had. The job that he yeah. had. Everything but they this had one to they go do This one they try. They, they see, do you mentioned the JFA. Now the boys qualify. Yeah. What be the next step? So for everybody, what be the next step? For the GFA, what's next? It'll be the same. Look, after the game, I tweet say, a prepared and provisioned Ghana team is always competitive. Yeah. The, the Yawa, they happen when we leave things very late. Because look, when it comes to the national talent, we get among. And you see, the whole tournament idea, it'd be very consistent with the Ghanaian football culture. The whole, the one Chendi, the Gata Gata yeah. football. With the, those, I read tournament, it'd be that... Ghanaians, we get them. So it not be something way before it. But when we not prepare one our teams, where would they leave things late? Would they allow bonus issues to distract the team? Would they leave coaching appointments late? And the little, little things where we know they pay attention to, like who we for captain the team. When those things, they can't distract me, that'd be when we they lose focus then. So I know it not be we, they can't show them what they do. Then show already say, then get the blueprints, then get the ideas to get the team to qualify. Because, look, eight years, eight consecutive years, would they try, would they fail? The last mm -hmm. ones have not, it'd be embarrassing. We go draw 2-2 two, two for Burkina. Somehow, we can't lose for Ghana. <laughs> somehow, we, somehow. somehow, we can't lose. Because, <laughs> no, how, how you, you go if you go Burkina, go get 2-2, two, two, then you can't go there, you say you can't lose for hope. But this time, everything, the preparation, it'd be different. Charlie, then do I'm jet. So we just go appeal, give them, say, the same seriousness, the same importance where they are attached to the team. And some of the things, the last time I listened to Anoka, they talk about the GFA, the my insistence on adding Kobe Mensa at the last minute mm -hmm. to the technical team. In the beginning, he, you know, really buy into the idea, mm -hmm. or you know, be in the idea to make them bring yeah. them. But after working with that, yeah, you can't understand why. The GFA, they feel, say, no, this guy, then Prospanate, go he help you, then do the thing. So it be those things, then the collaborative efforts from Anoka himself. You know, it, it's not always going to be decisions where go make you comfortable mm -hmm. or ideas where you go believe in. But once they explain them to you, and at least if they see some positive, make you find middle ground, mm -hmm. then take work. It be, it be national service. I always talk, say, when it comes to national teams, it be not pay, then they pay you give. It be sacrificial job where you do. And you're not going to feel really put monetary value on those things. So in the interest of the football fans with the Ghana, make them do everything possible. Give the team time to prepare and some consistency. With it. Because look, I know they believe, say, any midfield that go pop up or any set of midfielders or defenders go pop up where all of them go suddenly outperform these guys with them qualify. You go get two or three players who are doing well. But even with that, you are talking about most like maybe one defender, one or two midfielders, then maybe one forward with them will play. That one be normal. If you get three or four changes to the team, it'd be okay. But make we not change the team too much. Mm -hmm. Already, we see some of the players where then go even start safe. In this, the team with them qualifying. Somebody go feel make very good case give Omar Bashir. Mm -hmm. Say, if we start ahead of our coup. Mm -hmm. Or don't make him Sobila. Say, if we before introduce them into the central midfield space, then change the dynamics there. So the quality day, the only thing we would need, we say, make we give this team time, time. the attention and dedicate resources give them. Yeah. And also that thing where we they do before tournaments, you go ask Ghanaian coaches how much you do, how much info you get or brief you get about the opponent. We talk say, oh, well, 
for the first 15 minutes, you go stay, I beg. <laughs> we don't do that thing this time. So make yeah. we no go do them. <laughs> before before the teams where we play, at least we get sufficient info where it help we strategize. It help we prepare with the opponent in mind. Yeah. Make we carry the same thing. So like I said before, you nobody know, really can show them them a job. Then show say that they, they, they go feed do one. Make them continue then. Deliver the trophy. Then the final thoughts, then we go move on. Um basically what um actually talk. Um be my own BC as much as possible for maintaining the core of this team. Okay. And then go through the work as a technical team. They have already been imbibed with their ideas, then they understand them. The tournament's no far. It really no far. It'll be generally next January. year, no, no far. So in as much as the season will start, we will see new stars and everything. Mo could be very careful in the integration. You know, we say a group of people come day form. So change now with the sack everybody, they replace them. No. Um, continuity be very important in tournament settings. So actually, we more could use the first half of the season to scout all right, but integration must also be very important in how we go replace and mm -hmm. uh, pop in people for the and in and out of the team. All right, the Black Galaxies they qualify for the champ for the first time since 2015. The tournament be January 2023. They, they play for Algeria, so we go wish the team the very, very best. I should say about 90 percent or 95 percent of the players they take qualify be them now, they will go play that competition. One or two players go drop, possibly, and then they go add one or two players. So say we go see what we go feed do as the chant tournaments go come around in January next year. We go take some short break. If we come back, we go discuss the main black stars. Coach Otwado drop some squad list where is it? The squad list shake the system. Boys say ah why player A no the inside? Why player B no the inside? Why they call player C where they don't call the other guy? We go discuss their matters all after this week. This will be football made in Ghana. City TV will be right back. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana on City TV. Achita Maklu, Daniel Kranting, my guest for today's episode. I beg if you get any messages, take send me 0550 5858320. 5858320. We go read more of the messages before we go close the show. All right, make we move on now to the main black stars. The main black stars. That'd be Otuado in Black Stars. They qualify, give the World Cup. So now they go play. They go play South Korea, Portugal, and Uruguay in Group H of the World Cup. Now, as they prep for the competition, they for play friendly. So later this month, they go play Brazil. Almighty Brazil. Almighty Brazil. But the last time Ghana played Brazil for friendly be 2007. Mm -hmm. 2007. Mm -hmm. You know, so Craving Cottage or the after. That be Vagnalav, eh? That be Vag. No, no, we no, 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 no. That one be. Yeah, yeah. Neymar and Ronaldinho. Dance. Good. Quarantine. We play Quarantine. one for up north. Yes. Finland or Sweden yes, for yeah, Belize. Yeah. And then we play at Craven Cottage. Where we Cottage. play Craven Cottage. Yeah, yeah. The goalless game. Adam Kwasi in, in, in one and only proper game for the Black yeah. Stars. But I, I don't talk say in all no cattle. Make the, I talk say that. Kwasi said that issues plenty. Uh -huh. yes. The best game for the Black <laughs> yeah. Stars be that one. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, maybe we see the squad where Otuado drop. Then we go discuss the squad because we all foresee the names. Uh -huh. yeah. That be the names. 29 players where they call them, right? 29. Yeah. Goalkeepers betray Richard Ofori, you know him. Abdul Manaf Nuruddin, everybody know him. Jojo Wallacott, boys know him. Defenders, Dennis Odoi, Tariq Lamte, uh -huh. so that be the new Ghana, but the Abroche boys, they start coming the team inside. Mm -hmm. Tariq Lamte, uh, Ali Duseidu, Babaraman. Babaraman, in as boys see Babaraman in name, boys shock. They say, hey, Babaraman, is still the play Black Stars. Okay. Gideon Mensa, Alex Jiku. Mo Salisu, so this is going to be Mohamed Salisu in first time with the national team. Dani Amate, Joseph Edu, then Stefan Ambrosius. Stefan Ambrosius, it'll be another Abrochi boy, it'll be German boy way now, they play give the Black Stars. Midfielders, Thomas Pate, this name too, boys take red pen, do some asterisk. They say, ah, the guy he hit, so why is still the column? Baba Idrisu, Elisha Eli Usu, uh, Kofi Tre, the star boy. Maybe the girls are my new favorite guy. That <laughs> go feature. The girls are my new favorite. Mohamed Kudus, another star boy. Andrea Yu, Capito. Wingers, Kamal Din Suleimana, Daniel Banier, Efriye, Isahaku, Abdul Fatah. This name two boys underline the name. They say, hey, yo, Osman Bukhari, runs for the boy. What be that in name? Konigs, what? Konigs Konigs Duffer. Duffer, yeah. Konigs Duffer. Jordan Ayu, Antoine Semenyo. Antoine Semenyo, the last time that they can't play with yet. Now he come back. Inyaki Williams. I go talk something funny about Inyaki Williams. Felix Afinajan, then Benjamin Tete. Benjamin Tete, they play for House City. Boys say, the last how many years, Inyaki Williams no hit. As they call him for national team, Six no. Six years. He hit. As he is. He's still playing. 
<laughs> boys. The injury yeah. every two days. Boys won't talk something. <laughs> boys know the boys they misbehave. I forget them. <laughs> but but we get we get history to these things. So it no be it be unfortunate say when people point them out, it be assumed to be out of mischief or mischievous. But we we'll, we'll go get that. I will give you a rundown of in the last decade. Uh -huh. Pre-tournament and actual tournament injuries with it. Oh, no, no, so no, that no. one there, it, it is what it is. I will it is. give you pre-tournament and actual tournament injuries for England. I will feel give you no, for England. So it will feel give you for Argentina. It will happen So even we mention, you know, the mischief. It will be, be normal. It will be contact sports. So injuries, they happen. So injuries, they happen. Yeah, yeah it will be normal. Anyway, guys, impressions on the squad. Nathan, <laughs> you see the squad. Me, I see. Who did there way enough for D? <laughs> Who were a day inside? Way enough for D. Ah, this be the perfect squad, though. But this squad, if you see this thing where they can't argue, then I shock for you. This thing, three goalkeepers, who better pass them? Okay. Now there are no question. Defenders, who who they who know they inside where you better pass somebody they for they inside? Down to be fair. The midfielders, who they inside where you better pass somebody for the inside. So I said boys they mentioned mention Jeffrey Schlop in name. Jeffrey as a midfielder. Uh. Where he better pass somebody for this list inside. <laughs> they say why they no call. It'd be question. Why they no call up? Uh. You see? If the name squad, eh, everybody has reservations. That one, there'll be something. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody get right. But you see, if it come like people, they talk change now, you for name this player, you for name this player. That one, I don't think is fair. Why? National team collapse. Eh? Mm -hmm. You know, be Ghana. Eh? Mm -hmm. Everywhere you they go, coaches, they watch them, my plan, mm -hmm. them, my system, balance. That'll be the thing they guide them as they come plan continue. system. It'll be something they all over the place. Did you Deshaun talk something before the 2018 World Cup? He talks, say he's not naming 23 superstars, he's naming 23 players who will make up a formidable team. It'll be two different things. Who? So, you for the world, the eyes inside player A better pass player B. But if you watch in system, you watch in plan, you watch balance, you see, say no, this person will do better than this person. Chelsea go by Lukaku how, how much? For that season inside the time Lukaku they can, he was top five best strikers in the league. But Tuchel clearly did not say this guy you no know, go fit in the system inside. True, true, the guy no force. So but Tuchel never tell we say. Oh no, Lukaku but we knew. Force. You see, we know. When you put the talk, oh, Inter they play three back, Chelsea they play three back. System you no know, be formation. It be something where people for understand. System you no know, be formation. You don't understand. Mm -hmm. So if I be coach, mm -hmm. where I get the system an idea, the ball, how we want player, how we want player. Mm -hmm. If I be coach, be how that we arrange, how we arrange one about uh -huh. that one. If you change sixteen times for the factor, uh -huh. for the matches, if you change, uh, if I be coach, where I watch the system, I watch how I want play, where I choose profile of players, where then go suit my system inside. Me, where I can't reach for this job inside, I can't see. see. First of all. If the coach gives you a reason to trust him, trust him. I ask question. Given the time that Otuado had to get this team prepared for the World Cup qualifier and the, the two-legged mm -hmm. affair against Nigeria, he do the job or he not do the job? He do the job. Yeah, the Fantastic Four, they do the job. And they did the job against a team that was under the same manager, the same backroom staff, the, one of the su superstar squad, where they do the job. So he's giving me a reason. The next two competitive games, what he do? Two wins out of two. In fact, two, one win and then a draw with the top of the table. Four goals scored, one conceded. That is a good record. Has he given me a reason to trust him? Yes. They, because in the show, say they know exactly what they're about. So if he come with, he name this thing. I watch the quality with the day. See, and we for be, we for be very fair in one of our metrics. I always talk. If Ghana people say it be so with they want, make that thing cut across everybody. So people, they make cases, say, this person, they play regularly for here, this person, say, but they are picking and choosing who they should replace in the squad. I know okay. they like that thing. Okay. You did, Bob. And it's, it's down to sentiments. It shouldn't be down to sentiments. If you are saying that somebody is picking his favorites, then in your rebuttal, you should also not be picking your favorites. You should be picking who you think it should be in the squad, based on fairness. Mm -hmm. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Uh-huh. <clears throat> so if you say you want somebody who plays regularly in the top league, should be in the squad. Then look through the squad and pick somebody who is not playing regularly. People, they talk about Barbara Man. Barbara Man made a last day move, last but one uh, day move to Reading. If you watch UEFA coefficient rankings, 
the English Championship, if they rank ahead of more of the Scandinavian League, the Danish League, that thing so, in terms of money, in terms of facilities, it's high, de high up there. He come no in fair, they're the my first league game, he play. Last season, he was a regular in their team. He missed like two games or something. Regular. So he's playing regularly in the top league. But because it looks like people know they like him, Matano. <laughs> oh, you know, for the inside. <laughs> so if we are going on that same tangent, your favorites will also be found wanting. Because in as much as we love Mohamed Kudus, he's not been playing matches this season. You they get where they mm -hmm. come from? Daniel Kofitre, this season, you know they play. You know they play. You know they but that one, you know, one talk. Felix Afinajan, one a darling boy. You know, they play this season. So if you are going to use the same metrics, more of your favorites will be found wanting. Okay. So I feel, say, see, sometimes we for relax. This be the same uproar we have the time Otoado named the team for the Niger game. Hey, we don't get quality. Hey, we be this. Hey, Niger will score we. We finish the same people in the talk that thing. They were the ones screaming the loudest goals. <laughs> the goal where we all they shout the time party score. Then they shout past everybody. That, what it means is that everybody they love the black stars. Who told them they you fed? Oh no, it be true. Everybody they love the black stars. <laughs> who, and you see, who, who to have a Ghanaian team? coach. I don't know, know sir. To have a Ghanaian coach who has played for the national team. Killer. He did Dortmund. Who we we'll go search him? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, be you, you go can't tell and say make it succeed. So, hey, try, like, just, so relax. Just not say. He knows what he's about. I watch the team inside now. Where is he? Make I address two names. Fata is a hack. People they talk say we know for day the team inside. Me personally. Well, I told you, you see, this job is about growth. Mm -hmm. Me personally. It'd be like after the, the Niger, the first leg. Yeah. I was very frustrated with him this year. Yeah. I said, ah, but this guy to what be in this thing. But I tap. What well, I think, uh, I've been thinking over the past three months. I've been thinking, say, ah, <laughs> but this guy, why is he consistently getting called up? Why well, wreck something? If you watch the pool of players we get, mm -hmm. the players we select for since, since Milo come, so mm -hmm. from September to September, in the last year, mm -hmm. we don't have any natural left-footed winger for this Ghana team inside. Mm. But if you go through the squad, if you go through the squad, watch the wingers inside. Come out in right-footed, Bani right-footed, Isaku left, Osman Bukari right, uh, uh, Collinsdorf are right, Jordan right, um, Semenyo right. Do you understand? Now if you juxtapose that to modern day football, and you see the importance of having a left-footed right winger. Ah! It don't be with the way man you go spend 100 million on Anthony. Yeah. And Anthony, what then had to? He wanted a left footed right winger in the team. So, is that if you don't get Anthony, like, you go go look for go go look for another. You don't be winger, pero. Left footed. Uh -huh. So, you don't be saying he just a set winger. He did set left footed right winger. You see, more than the football, it is so important. Man City, before the my former transfer record, it was like, for who? Um, Mares. Yes. 60 million. Yes. Left footed right winger. Football, they change. There are some profile of players that you can't overlook. Left-footed centre-back. Left-footed. Maybe, but they're not plenty. So if you have one, mm -hmm. when you go feel groom the person, make you reach a certain mm -hmm. level, keep him, mm -hmm. hold him, and make sure that you get to that level. Where that work Ghana they do? And you see, that all fits in a plan. So if Otwado, they choose this guy. For not say, these players like that, they're not plenty like that. Do you understand? The last one, the Kai B, uh, or the Christian Atu. Yeah, Christian Atu, after Christian Atu, we don't get we anybody. Don't get uh, they be like Sam Olusu. So you see, there's a trend. No, seriously, oh, there's whoa. a trend. In terms of quality, there, there's, there's a gap. Mm -hmm. But there's a trend that there's this type of player that we need to have in this team for certain things. It'll be true. It'll be, be true. true. So you for watch that thing. Sam Olusu didn't meet the quality. Fata is a good camp, no, he's too warm. You the bab. So there's, there might be a reason why this person is inside. Next player. This will be my final point before I bring up. But I'm telling you, like Ghana people don't like him. They say they give an half chance if they beat, beat. See, oh that one, that one you no try. That one you blow the guy, you no try. That one you no know, fight. Say somebody they go fight, left the person make go fight. But say because brother who they give the guy a packet, where they catch him, they catch him. Then party no one snitch him. But party, you see, you don't know any. Oh party, you don't know any number. What? Then what we have? see number thirty. You see, you don't know any number thirty for any team. Hey party. But see the team be see. People like Benjamin Tete, player of that profile. We see some man. Uh, unless you know what open your eyes. 2010, before the 2010 World Cup, the 09 2010 La Liga season, Roberto Soldado, then he'd be the highest, no, second highest scoring Spanish player after David Villa, the E. Yeah. They drop him where they take Fernando Llorente go. 
when we want to be the head coach in this thing, we have a system where they go play. Fine. But this tall target man type with one things, the Bahamas come to stage in the competition where you, where you go need them. So just take them, just in case. We see this thing here, we they see them across teams they do, club size they oh. do, national team. Make sure now the oh. if you go to England, the conversation that they basically say, so if Yawa come way like they, they lose some match, where they come out hurricane, who they come, who did they bring come? You they with all the strikers that they that be why they say guys Southgate, if you watch Calvin Lewin, then something they do one because you don't have any because Calvin Lewin with the head. Now no. they say Ivan Tony, they won't bring Ivan Tony. No, you Tony. see, and you see they are so important. Like, even the same England you they talk. 2006 World Cup, Darren Bent, even from before the World Cup, they, they, make it they make it tap. You know why they make it tap? Because the profile of players in the compete plus, be Michael Owen, the Rooney, then quick mobile type strikers. The only exception in With that was Peter Crouch. When Peter Crouch go feel offer you that thing, just in case, when there be tournament setting, everybody they do. Mario Gomez, Germany. Stefan Kiesling, Germany. These things, it, they happen all across. Everybody they do. Olivier Giroud, France. Oh, you see, you go day inside. Whether you like him or not, he go day inside. Because he, they offer you that different dynamic. It, they cut across. So somebody like Benjamin Tete, he might not be your fa most fashionable striker. But in a tournament setting, he has a use. We they draw, 1-1. One, one. We they need win. The people pack the bus. We know the feet pass. This time, your kudus in skills know they work. Where you for goal route one. If you did that, you trust body, you will go put this and make you. Yes, they did the win headers. But if you get some tall defender, I can't do anybody. That's it. You are done. So you need somebody like that. that if, see, even basic principles of football. Mm. Once you have a 26 man squad, you need, you see, there are some angles that you need to cover. Where mm. he you know, which other striker we get in the profile? Which other one? And see, to be fair, let's not judge players based on sentiment. Since he go Hall City, one of them are the most important players. He hurts the. He pulling hamstring like last weekend. Mm -hmm. See the way the head coach, the head coach make hot. See the way they moved heaven and hell to get him from Turkey to Hull City. Right now he can't pull her hamstring. And but the players, you see, they hurt heads. Man. Ah, you be doctor. You assess the player. You see, can I put the light to move too much? They bring the list. No, they go do it. Pate is injured. This person is injured. Otuado, why are you calling them two hours later? Inside sources come from us now. Say, party go return before the international break. Well, I see. You be doctor. You don't know the conversations that have gone on between the national team and the club. Do you understand? Maybe they've been given assurances that this, oh, these players go happen. And you see, even if the players don't happen, I'm, look, this is a very important point. This no be try and testing period. Though. This is like the only international window we have before the World Cup. So it's not now you are going to try and test players. The coach is choosing based on plan system and trust. I've used you before. You may not be playing this season, but we are just six, six, five, six games into the season. The World Cup is in November. You already understand my system. So you come. Even if you are hit, the personal, mm -hmm. that one, one on one touch, you know, it'd be very important. And even on the party issue, Seth, let's be honest. When was the last time party had a very good game for, for Ghana? Pate even struggles to understand his role in Ghana. So this is a very critical period. Whether he's hurt or not, if he can come and sit down during tactical briefings, understand what is required of him during this period, it's a friendly game, for goodness sake. England, uh, Southgate talk. Say this squad he they can't name, no. He's not going to try and test anybody for this squad. So when he names this squad, mm -hmm. he's giving everybody an idea of who's going to walk up. Same thing the Brazil head coach talk. Same thing Tite talk. Uh, 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 the sham talk. Yeah. So everybody is thinking in that way. This will not be the normal. This will not be the time for match. Not be the quick. time where you do. Charlie, uh, okay. unless you get some exceptionally gifted player somewhere where you know go overlook, and he's addressing a need in your team. If you know they address something where you badly they need, nobody's come to try and test at this period in time. So Charlie, sometimes more could cut them some slack. More could try and understand them are thinking, and let's not. Make no rush into hey this person. We go see with this thing we see before. We bash Daniel Kofi Tria. You go to the Afghan camp. Hey, people they post in picture. Kofi Tria, you a Ghana hero. We bash uh, uh, what be name? Jojo Wallacott. Ah, after the Ghana Niger game. Oh, Wallacott, God bless you. Sometimes let's relax. Let's understand that. In as much as we have sense and we can analyze, the coaches also have sense and they too they can analyze. Mm -hmm. Some of these things, if you preference, if you don't pick your person, maybe he know why he picked somebody in person. If they go away, they no force. Uh -huh. Tell me where you go. Fick and toss. Hey, you didn't understand. But until that happens, no. Just relax. 
Who could try support? Small. Uh -huh. Actually, the game is saying make you try support. <laughs> Is that what everything CK? I am uh, unapologetically CK. opposed to <laughs> shutting down the sentient views in the partnership. <laughs> you do very good PR job, give uh, Otuwa. <laughs> Wherever way, you do, you for be proud of the kid. Well, PR job. You see, I'm not the one of the people who uh, they believe in, they end justifies the means. No, uh -huh. scrap that. Why? If principally it be wrong, uh -huh. I know the care say you get the results. Uh -huh. Because for some of us, we do look at the team and we do look beyond Qatar 2022. Yeah, but the World Cup too is the like black two months get away. Right. So yeah, right the Black Stars will get right now. Ah, the world they end after. Uh, okay, December you made they go play that one first. Ah, they come. The world they end after December twenty two. No, no, no. See, people they forget say the Black Stars will get right. Now. We no get team. We have a few interesting profiles, some very good players, a, a squad. But as a team, we don't. Uh, the closer she would come to be your defensive or the centre back combinations. Even with that, now there is solution. It changes the dynamics, mm -hmm. right? Do you start Salisu in the back three? Do you play him with Jiku? Or but that's but, but why the friendly games day. So the so point is, try, ah, so the point then... is, we don't have a team. So it is okay for people to question when they see those faces there. Mm -hmm. And you see, the the questioning that we are seeing today is born out of someone's negligence. Some people they might refuse to do them a job. Okay. The world over, it, it be standard practice. Say if you release. Your squad list, you do it, then explain to the press. So say then go carry your words, stay go sugar and say, This be what the coach talk. He say he called the K because the K he be he be deep holding, defensive, striking, metaphor, whatever. Ah, who will you try? You see that thing? So <laughs> because that's you, know, you speak <laughs> to the issues. Ah. You go explain why you call Mr. A or Mr. B. Uh -huh. It takes away what the K today they call sentiment or those. Uh -huh. After those explanations, we go talk, say, okay, coach, I respect your view, but I disagree. That mm -hmm. one day. But if you know, explain the call up, mm -hmm. people go punch holes into them, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And you see, this be coach will show, say, it go feel make very inexplicably stubborn decisions, like, like, like calling one. Wakasu. But that's no Wakasu reason whatsoever. Come on. Wakasu no did this one. Day. I'm saying that. He's done that in the past. So it becomes a basis for people to question his collapse. Ah, so you call right? Wakasu. You call... <laughs> Look, we know Biki this. You know if you make that crazy explanation and say, it'd be the reason why you call Wakasu into the team. It'd be the only experienced player in the team. he would be the only experienced player who's been a, around the national team. Like Muntari Day. If he'd be experienced where you did talk, say you want experience. Uh -huh. You go feel, take you Muntari who has lived through different generations of black stars. Ah, we all know say Muntari. And it's actually yeah, active. No, at the time, Muntari, no, no, Muntari was active. So if that be it be it be how you don't want to degenerate and reduce the conversation to oh I'll call whoever I want and when I come I'll say whatever I I want to no, say. You say no. make you explain. You, you be, explain the thing no. to finish her. You say. Oh, that's what all the talk okay. say. Fine. So that's what I'm so saying. So you're not happy. You with don't the just squad. say anything. Okay. I'm saying that. No, I haven't even come to the squad. I'm ah. saying that people will question it because there is no explanation for this list. Is there? No explanation. There isn't. Okay. And in the past, the coach has shown himself capable of making some really inexplicable decisions and is giving some crazy answers in what he thinks is wisdom enough to explain those decisions. Mm -hmm. So when there is that background, people will suspect, will be suspicious of those decisions. Yeah. Sure and there's nothing anyone there. can do about it. Okay. Sure because there is an example. Okay. Now so to, let's go on to this team. Now to the squad. Um, the um, we'll see issues in the team. <laughs> For me, be the fact, say, as I've mentioned, we no get him. It be now with the assemble squad. Mm -hmm. So, one area where I feel say for look at and be futuristic, the goal scoring. Uh -huh. Because since Jan, who really they give the team goals? Mm -hmm. Andre. Mm -hmm. So, one, all one I hopes for be say, and you see, the match winning area be more important because, so take the last 10 games the Black Stars play mm -hmm. and take out the key actors where it really influence the games give away. Mm -hmm. They are either getting injured or they are not playing at all. Mm -hmm. Andre being the exception. Pate is injured today. Fitch tomorrow. Kufiche isn't playing. Kudus isn't, play isn't playing. So Andre be the only exception mm -hmm. to that. So that is an area of... That is why I would have loved to see someone walking into this team with confidence of goals behind him. Like who? Mm -hmm. That's their job to find out. That's their, I mean, these aren't the only Ghanaian players available. That is their job to find. Okay. Right? So, 
in the past with names like Abdulaziz, who plays for Real Ave, mm -hmm. the guy who scored the brace recently, are players who have been thrown up because there is a a genuine need for goals in this team. Players will go for score. If you take, in fact, the players who are likely to start and combine the last four, the four of the attackers in this team, I'm not, I'm not sure you will arrive at five goals. Mm. I'm not sure you will arrive. So what? Jordan, Afinajan, even Inaki Williams. They, they, we bring in Yaki Williams. You see. Uh -huh. So there is a need to introduce something else. Uh -huh. Someone who will give goals to this team. And that's what that's, that's something what Inaki brings. that is not how many goals he scored this season? Oh. But that's the point I'm making. That how many how many goals in the top the I'm top saying that for the currently, how many? If, if you, you come out Haaland and Lewandowski, BK, how many BK, of the top You know you they can't explain no, my point. But true. So the that means they make Lukaku make goals Belgium because Lukaku is called one goal this season. If you take these guys and go through the list of the players that we've got at the tournament, you need goals. You can play your semantics and say whatever makes you sleep at night. But the reality is that those guys in the team don't have goals in them. Inyaki Andre is, our, is your best bet. Uh -huh. The other two players who do that when they're available, one of them isn't playing this season. The other is getting injured. Uh -huh. So there is a genuine concern there. He has to find a way of making this team play and create an awful uh -huh. ton of goals. Actually, but you know... No, you are saying that there are no goals. We needed to find somebody. Make you ask the question. Somebody has come from the La Liga. I beg, ask a striker in uh, Athletic Bilbao. Is he not answering the question? They will talk no. They will not say oh, Ask the question, make an answer. Okay, so now Otuado get two games. Yeah. One against Brazil, one against Nicaragua. So that he go observe and probably figure out. So that's why I'm saying that. That's why friendly matches. That's why I'm saying that. And generally, for teams where no gets, no table goal scorers, the, the norm is that if they are going to succeed, they, they create a ton of chances. So that if they score the odd one or two, mm -hmm. it takes them forward. So that is the responsibility for Otuado mm -hmm. now. Either find someone who will walk in with goals and score, or in get a team to create a ton of goals in that team. The point, of, there is a, I have a big disagreement with DK when he talks about the Fatal Isaku issue. Yeah. I agree, say, you for fine profiles that... Yeah. But you don't settle on certain profiles just for the sake of having one. Right? Okay. You can decide that you want a left-footed right winger. Mm -hmm. But you don't settle on Abdel Fatah Isaku, who has clearly been dysfunctional. He hasn't had a good game in the Black Stars and Otuado. Mm -hmm. I think before, it was his first game under Milo that excited all of us. Beyond that, he's not had any game where there's been... A unanimous or consensus yeah, about like his performance in the team. Mm -hmm. So I feel you you don't need to take that kid just because you want to take mm -hmm. a left-footed right winger. I would, on current form, and I've said this repeatedly, I would move Kudus out of his position mm -hmm. and perhaps play him out wide. Mm -hmm. He has the instincts, he keeps the ball better. And in fact, if you check the way Kudus play and how he, he'd love to dribble instead of releasing the ball out wide, he will find more space than in the center of the pitch. Mm. Yes. He will find more so space. So, like you go because, take, like, because you know, out wide, Isahaku. I'm saying that out wide, if he takes on one player and he beats him, there is more space to navigate than in front of a defense where he beats a midfielder and there is probably one or two other players out there. So, he needs to work out those things because I feel, look, as gifted as these players are, I would rather want to see Felix Afidajan, Fatal Isaku take their time, get home properly before you introduce them into the Black Stars proper. Because the reality is that Afinajan is not even used to playing 90 minutes as a professional footballer. He's not even used to it. So that's why, and a coach was telling me that's that why what happened to him in that Nigeria game was normal. The cramps and those, it was normal. Because that high-octane football, the intensity, the temperature and the energy in those games is something that's foreign to him. He's not... Um, Benjamin Tete or Inaki Williams or, or Jordan are you of those players. Similarly, Abdul Fatah Isaku is now learning the ropes at Lisbon. Mm -hmm. You give them time to grow. The Black Stars will always be there. Right? In the Lisbon if you create the impression, yeah. if you create the and impression, the He's if you create the impression he against that FC Porto. you can he take last any week. prodigy and introduce them into the Black Stars. Serious questions are going to be asked about, okay, so they are not the only prodigies out there. Right, so I would rather see him walking into the team on the back of some significant game time. The quality is not in doubt. 
Nathan, right. Nathan. So see, I would rather see. I, and I, see, I, I, I want, be to, in I want the to ask you a question of, because he made a very important point okay. about the technical team finding somebody who can bring goals. Then he also made a very important point about Felix Afinaja not playing, not, yeah, in not, not being used to this. Level. Isn't that why Inaki Williams has come? He's coming as a striker from the Liga. Okay. Who scores? Can I answer? He's coming as a striker Can from I the answer? Liga who has played every game for the then, past seven then you years. Were not answer, you are not so asking a question. No. You wanted to make so a So he's point. addressing the problems you are talking no, about. No, he's not. He if is, you, if okay. you tell me that there Hold is on. a need for goals, mm -hmm. for which reason you've brought in Naki, mm -hmm. his track record has to be one of a proven goal okay. scorer. Inaki Actually, is not. Clearly, Oto, so I am saying cl that. Clearly, Otuado, this, yeah. you know, you know, add anybody. So what make you do plus is this he squad? That's what I have said. That, forward and that is what I have said. That mm -hmm. you, you've got two options in teams. You either in your assembly or forwards bring in people who will shut us up with their numbers. Mm -hmm. Or when the team starts playing, let us see the team create a ton of chances and get mm -hmm. those chances buried. For me, that's simple. That's it. But let's not make it as if the guys there have been watched by some people Somewhere when we haven't watched because we watch the La Liga. Yes, Ooh, even no, if no. we don't watch, so it's Inaki, we know the numbers. It's Inaki Inaki not, better is than not the, your answer to go. Is he not He's better never than been... the current center for as we have? Okay, the, the, don't the personalize strikers. it. No, no that's a no, question. Don't personalize it. First try. No, this, this is not club case. football where we can go and buy no, eleven. Don't risk. personalize it. We are picking from a pool of players, and if you watch the Ghanaian center for us who are out there, is Inaki not better than the current pool that we have? Is he or is he not? Is he not? Or the conversation is not about Inaki Williams. No, I'm just asking. No, they brought Inaki Williams to try and solve the problem. You make a point. You choose to focus. You be the rapper. You choose to focus. Then they make some points about my issue. Yes. You say these forwards, if you put them together, the goals you know get plenty. And it'd be fact. Yeah. Say if you put these guys together, you won't get 20, 25, or 30 goals. But that's what Otuado has. He has this mix. Yeah. So that's what he's se settled okay, on. Okay, that's what no he has settled he has. on. He's not adding anybody. Yeah. That we know. So he said, Well, now the team for create chances. So say these guys. It's the will only score. way. <laughs> or somehow these guys need to find goals. It is the only way. Because look, it is not now that you're coming to teach Inyaki how to score goals. Or Felix Afinajan. Maybe he is. Yeah, he's still mm. young in the tooth. And so he the guy is leading the teachers. line for Atletic Bilbao. What I'm saying is that in the La Liga, they, you are not going to suddenly turn them into goal monsters. No, it's not possible. If he had that ability, he would have been the head coach of Dortmund. His job now is to f set the team up to but play in the manner. That's, that's unfair. That's no. That's unfair. What do you mean by that's not? That that's is unfair. his job. Why did he take the no. job if he's not capable of no. coaching? That's unfair. No. In fact, your point okay. is... Dana, no, you're your being pedestrian point... now. Because no. the reality is... Your point is actually what his job is. Because I don't think he's in charge so of that. So why do you say that? So why do you say that? So if there's anybody who's going to get the best out of the particular Okay, He actually suits his job. It's unfair to say he's going to He would have been the head coach. I'm going to continue. So that means... Also, I don't name the squad. We go see. Later in the month, we go see Ghana versus Brazil and Nicaragua. Hopefully, after those two games, we will have a better idea of who will qualify or who will play for the World Cup inside and who will play. Actually, thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Next Wednesday, we will come back with more. I sure say we go feed you part two of this squad list and see uh, where we go take the conversation. But that'll be Football Made in Ghana. We will come back next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe and take care.